Hi, my name is Luis Guerrero. I'll be showing you guys how to write out XML data from inside of Maya uh, with Python. This is the basics of a, a bunch of exporters like Colada. Let's fire off the script editor and start typing. So to bring in the module for uh, the XML, you're going to want to type from XML DOM mini DOM import document. And this document objects is basically your main Thing to use uh, so we can start creating the XML document by just typing doc equals document and this will create an XML document and it's really straightforward uh, let's first add a root node so we can start building our XML so root node equals doc create element and let's just call this scene information and then you have to append this to your main document because the way XML works is kind of tree based. So you just have your parent and you start adding children to it. Uh, so with this, basically, you have an XML document. So you can add, add a couple of prints, just create some spacing, and then you can do print doc to pretty XML to see the results. So right now, you basically have. The header for the XML, which just gives you the version, it can give you encoding and some other stuff. And then scene information, which is our root node. Uh, from there, we can start adding some Maya commands into this equation. And we can do that by doing import Maya commands as commands. This will basically load up all of Maya's internal modules so we can use it with Python. Uh, we can use a familiar command. To grab all our selection so selection equals commands and this just gives you uh, let's, let's run the whole thing so we have it load it up Brand. selection so we don't have anything selected so it's an empty array but if you just run that You can see we have the two items. So the idea here is we're gonna do a node per children, which is per object that you have selected, and then we're gonna create a node for it and append the translate x, y, and z as properties from inside that object. So let's just do a basic loop uh, for object in selection. Uh, we can do a print object just to see if we're doing what we want to do. And then object node equals doc create element and then we cast that object name to a string and then we want that to be a child of the root node not to the scene node object node and now we should see that we have Sphere 1 and Sphere 2 underneath the scene information node, and they're all self contained little nodes. So that's pretty handy. Uh, but we want to get some information out of Maya to feed into these couple of parameters here. Uh, so to do that, we basically just grab the attributes with uh, let's grab the translation for this example. So commands get adder and then object. Translate, and this will give you an array with a tuple. Tuple, I don't know how to say it, but it's your x, y, and z. Uh, so we can say object node set attribute translate x, and we need to cast this to a string so it can be written out to a file. And it's the first item of the array and the first item of the so let's try that so there you go we have translate x and translate for both items uh, then we can just simply copy and paste which is the majority of the TAO's work y and z and one and two so now you have translate x y and z 
for both objects in your scene information menu. Uh, this is mainly it, but now of course we want to be able to write this out to a file instead of just having it floating inside my memory. So let's create the XML file. And to, that's just Python's way of creating a file. You just type in the file you want to write to. So test.xml. And I want to open this file in write mode, not read. And then you just do XML file. Write doc to pretty XML. Same syntax we have underneath. And then XML file close so Maya doesn't grab it and not let go. Uh, so if we go to our E3D directory over here, you'll see we have a test.xml with all our XML information in there. So this is really the basics of any exporter. If you open up a Collada file, this will look familiar. Uh, we use it at work for a bunch of stuff. We write out poses, write out shader parameters, write out animation data so other programs can use it. Uh, it's pretty a uh, general format that a lot of different languages basically have readers for. So it's a really good way of getting information out of Maya and into your game engine or a database or any sort of other thing you want. Well, hope that's been helpful and uh, refer to your email with, with any questions.